Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Eden Zero, Chapter 85. So, right out of the gate, the big thing with this chapter is Rebecca gathering everyone together and laying out how their future played out after confronting Dragon Joe, and it's from there on, you can see, you can see within this chapter, like, the little details of it, where the future is already starting to change a little just pretty much through her, just through her, like, telling everyone, and just through her t telling everyone the truth, the, the, the truth of, uh, about what ha about what happened, about what's all happened up to this point, um, and, and you can, not, and as well, you can, s and even, even the fact that, that Rebecca used her knowledge of what happened, to, to, well, pretty much to Labilia in, in order to, in order, in order to call ahead, she was she was missing that in itself. Also, also in a in a weird in a weird way for for, for, for basically as simple of a scene as it is, it basically shows that the, the, the basically through the basically through the, the very the very simple decisions, and very simple very, very simple decisions that, that our characters make in this in this chapter, it shows just how um it just shows how those very simple decisions are are affecting the, the future already. Um, yet at the same time, like, like going off what I said a couple chapters back, the core events themselves are still playing out very much the same as, as we see at the end of the chapter with Dragon Joe's crew basically boarding the Eden Zero. Like you're for started, the only difference being is that the Eden Zero crew wasn't pretty much there in, in order to, in order to meet them and fight, in order to meet them directly. Um, What's going to matter now, though, is what the Eden Zero crew, armed with Rebecca's knowledge of the future, is going to do and how they can change the overall outcome. Which, from the way Hermit was talking about playing things, about, about playing things unfair and, and using unfair methods in, in order to, uh, and, and, about, and about pretty much fighting un, un, unfairly and, and, and fighting a little dirtier this time around, it sounds like it's going to be a situation where the Eden Zero, where where she plans on trapping them in such a way where it's a complete reversal of last last time of, or it's going to be a complete reversal of last time. Basically boxing, basically, bo basically boxing those three in, and picking them off with a combination of direct and indirect methods. Um, with with that being with that being said though. If Mashima is going by the rules of everything's relative, and that the core events of the core events of this uh, the core events of this arc are going to remain the same, then I'm curious of what uh, like well, we've basically already seen a little bit of a we've already seen a little bit of a difference of, of what's going to happen now, but I'm curious of basically how many other things are going to play out differently if um. It, like like for instance if 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 basically Weiss is going to like for instance if Weiss is going to like like keep his if Weiss is going to keep his identity like a secret in, in order to prevent um in order to in order to prevent in order to, in order to prevent, in order to prevent him from from, 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 from running from, from basically running into into pretty much severe because as we see just the fact that the Eden Zero crew um had associated themselves with Sabir is how he ended up getting killed. So that's probably going to be something that they're going to have to do in order to prevent him from being killed this time around. Um, and the other thing I'm curious about, it, again with Weiss though, is if Mashima is going by the rules of everything's relative and the core events remain the same, then I'm curious how Weiss is going to lose his arm this time around. If, it, if it's going to be like like French fighting like like fighting like like you know battle with dragon joe or whatnot like it, it would kind of you'd think it would kind of have to be if like the core events kind of if if weiss losing his arm is still like a core event of this of this arc then it would he would have to lose it in some way against dragon joe i'd imagine um <clears throat> but yeah so it, it's it's a nice little kind of just giving us a little bit of um it's, it's just giving us a little bit of setup for yeah that that events themselves are going to still play the same but 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 largely a lot of a lot of what ends up being different is is how our heroes end up playing this obviously and uh yeah i'm really curious about that <clears throat> uh and getting a little bit deeper into the whole into the, into the whole into the whole into the little thing with, with basically rescuing labilia because in this in this chapter as we see like like, like pretty much rebecca 
like Re Rebecca is basically still very much haunted by one of the things Rebecca is still very much haunted by on, on top of the fact of her friends dying is is the is the fact of, of basically what, what pretty much ha happened to, 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 to Prince Labilia and you can see that's definitely one of the things that has affected her emotionally so in terms of the whole like like like, like, like when it comes to like rescuing Labilia going forward we will have it, it was just nice to see a little bit of character development for Rebecca showing that yeah despite everything that uh, Labilia has done to humiliate her up to this point Rebecca still very much values their rivalry friendship and just in general from from this whole experience and after witnessing what happened to her to, to Rebecca it's just the morally and ethically right thing to do it doesn't matter what 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 what, what basically what little Billy has done to her um now now having said that what 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 what, what basically what, what Prince Labilia ends up doing after the rescue is definitely going to be key for me because like okay here's the thing I don't expect them to be like absolute friends and I expect the rivalry to keep going but keep it a little more keep it a little more like what like like from converse like make them reach a point where they can be at least a little more conversational with each other without antagonizing each other constantly that that's kind of the thing I want like I want them to reach reach some kind of a of a safe middle ground between a relationship to reach a safe middle ground or something like I don't want all this like I don't want all, all this constant bullshit that that, basically, that Labilia keeps pulling like like I, I guess still pull pranks every now and then but I don't I don't want it to be as malicious as she keeps doing I guess so if and if, if I don't get that get if I don't get that in some way then I'm gonna be a little pissed which I think he I think Mashman does plan to kind of address this, address that after a while, but uh, yeah, it it should be should be interesting to see how things go. I'm, but yeah, if if it's not addressed, then I am gonna have a few words to say for sure. Um, um, and one one thing I also like though is how this how one thing I also like about this chapter is basically how the social media of like a French beekeeper aspect was used in, honestly, a very ingenious way to confirm what, what, what basically, what Rebecca went through wasn't a dream, and just, and just confirming, like, like, from where, like, where, 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 she, she basically was at this point, so, like, it, it, like, I like how Mashima is, used this chapter in order to, in order to incorporate the, incorporate the, the, the whole B-Cuber social media aspect a little more into the story because I'm not going to lie, the whole social media B-Cuber thing, it has for the longest time felt like a, a little bit more of just kind of like a, a pretty much side thing, but here it's it's just incorporated a little better in, into the whole story, obviously. Um, <clears throat> now, one interesting thing to talk about that we dive into with this, that we dive into more deep, in, with this chapter is that we dive into more details about Rebecca's time jumping powers and Hermit as as we know did like pretty much threw in a bit of a small comparison to, to basically the chronophages which I'm pretty sure is basically Mashima's way of telling us that as that as of this point Rebecca is the only one with the power in order to counter them which also puts into perspective why Drac and Joe might want that power now the keyword I just used in there is counter, because as far as I know, the as far as I know, the you know the chronophages are practically a force of nature with no way of like stopping them completely. But Rebecca's power in itself and her current mastery can pro can can, bas can basically subvert the, the effects of the chronophages in some way, like. In like she can probably use her power in order to in order to support, in order to support the effects of the of of of, the, of their powers, but not necessarily the actual, but but not necessarily like like stopping the actual chronophages themselves in some way. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm curious to see how how he plans to how he plans to play like this 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 whole this whole thing with the. With, with the chronophages and what it has to do with Rebecca's power because it's it de I, I definitely think for for Mashima I've I've definitely learned that he de definitely isn't gonna throw even just a tiny little detail out, the, out there if it didn't have something to do with her power so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how how our powers and are gonna work against the 
against like the powers of the chronophages, I guess. Um, and that, and also, and and even though and even though at her current level, I can say she can only sub, Rebecca can only subvert those powers. I am kind of curious. I am kind of curious that maybe Joe has found a way to to in fact destroy the chronophages with that power, or do or do something with with her power that, that that she doesn't know that she can do yet. So yeah, that should be interesting as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Analyst Control. Deathmatter of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.